Hello guys, and uh, in this video, I mean in the last video, I wondered about how to draw hair. I asked a question that sounds like, how do I draw hair so it looks like this? Uh, spoiler, I couldn't repeat this technique, but this is only the beginning of my journey, and now I roughly understand what uh, uh, needs to be done. And uh, while I was trying not to understand, I found many different tricks that can be used uh, separately or together. Uh, simply put, I analyzed uh, uh, how others uh, draw hair and uh, decided to repeat some techniques. So I won't continue to pour water and uh, begin to explain what I have found. Oh, and something else important, now I'm going to say something so basic that you will blow away. Uh, you need to know what is a closed and open layer, because it will make your life much easier. If there is such a function in almost all drawing programs, you just need to find it in your layer settings. Uh, for example, to make a layer open or close in Procreate, you need to press two fingers at the same time twice on the layer, plus uh, light art, uh, color, shadow and light I uh, uh, draw in the different uh, uh, layers. In any case, uh, this is how I use layers, so it's up to you to do it or not. Uh, so, my first technique that I found uh, is called uh, light on glass. Why did it go like this? Uh, because it was very similar to the reflection of light from a window into a glass uh, or something like that. Uh, to put it simply, then we need to draw squares on uh, the hair. These squares are highlights on the hair. And uh, next you need to duplicate uh, the layer. Uh, with uh, squares and uh, use a filter to blur it. The second technique is called uh, oil. Uh, because the hair starts to look like a bucket of oil has been poured on it. And uh, I draw rounded shapes along the entire length uh, of the hair. I draw this uh, on a different layer and uh, with uh, a color that is slightly darker than the main uh, hair color. Then I take uh, a soft airbrush and make a gradient from the dark to light from top to bottom. I think it uh, didn't get out well, but in the example that I am showing now, it's looking much more better. Uh, the example is taken from the manhwa Cold Blooded Beast. The third technique is color gradient. Now I will show you three ways to use a gradient on the hair. Uh, the first is a gradient uh, from dark to light from top to bottom. And the second is uh, a gradient from light to dark from top to bottom. And the third is a gradient from uh, uh, color of complexion to hair color and, uh, and uh, where is color is next to the skin. You can see an example on the screen, because uh, I think it's hard to understand from my words. But this technique is really uh, simple and easy, and it's so uh, cool. I love this technique. So uh, I think uh, we need to go to the next uh, uh, technique. And uh, next we have uh, hatching. Uh, I don't think much need to be explained here. I just simply hatch along the direction of the hair. I don't really like the result, you know. <laughs> then I uh, try to color the line art uh, of the hair with the color of the hair, which makes uh, it particularly or completely without the line art. Uh, it looks like this and it looks pretty cool, so uh, I love this technique. And uh, the next one that I want to say is that uh, Hair looks very cool when you're done with texture brushes. Uh, yes, at first it seemed difficult, but after practice it is not so difficult. <laughs> and there are too many texture brushes for me to roughly explain uh, how you use this. Uh, after all, uh, uh, brushes are different and uh, each work uh, differently. 
Uh, plus, it all depends on what kind of uh, hair you want to get a uh, get as a result. And to be honest, I never did it at all. But it's a picture from Twitter and pictures. It looks very beautiful. So I think it's uh, it's worth to be in your mind. <laughs> And the seventh thing that I noticed uh, uh, is that uh, sometimes a line art uh, that is lighter than the main color of the objects looks very cool, uh, perfect. Just this example, it looks so wow. <laughs> And finally, the most difficult. I decided to step into a no territory and try to draw hair without light art and draw another on top of it. Uh, maybe you don't quite understand what I'm talking about right now, uh, so I will try to explain everything. After the sketch, first you draw hair and then draw the line art. For me, who has always done the opposite, it was very difficult and uncomfortable. But while I was drawing the hair, I remember that if I divide the hair into several large sections, and then each time I divide the hair into an even small section, then it uh, can turn out well. And uh, in the end, uh, I really like the result. But I think I still need to practice and uh, practice to draw not only hair but also face, clothes, um, everything. And uh, in the end I uh, will say something like uh, don't forget about the lights and shadows and maybe this uh, video doesn't look uh, super professional but I hope this video helped you. Please click on the like button and type a comment if you want to say something. I read all comments so I look forward to reading your comment. Anyway, have a picture with the cats and thanks for watching!